much better than this. Afternoon baseball. Standing in, Robinson Cano. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for the Mets. The second baseman. Dan Dero, Robinson the Cubs, as they take the Cano. field here this afternoon. First All you can really Dero. say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. And now a chance to Maddox meet second. the Mets. Thoughts, the Dan, who stands out? Well, you better keep an eye on Robinson Cano no as this game moves along. You can bet the opposition spent a decent amount of time crafting a game plan to stop this guy because as he goes, so goes the team. You stop him, you've got a chance to win. You don't, you're probably going to lose. Swing and a miss, and Lowry's a strikeout victim here. Two away. Batting third. He's set. Here it the comes. Catcher, and it's fouled away. Ramos. Bases are empty here with two men out. Stays alive, still 0-2. The 0-2 once more. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end. Down in order go the Mets. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. At the Leading plate, Kyle Schwarber. He'll lead things off here in no the bottom either. half of the first. Kyle. Fly ball out toward left center field. Cespit is on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. And that now time second. to check how Joe Not Madden shortstop. has lined the Cubbies up Bobby in this Gay. one. What do you think they need to do to Bobby keep Gay. the winning streak a rolling, Dero? Are we still a big believer in batting average, Matty? In today's game, I I'm more interested in the OPS number. But that's not to take anything away from this offense. They lead the league in batting average. And yeah. what that tells me is they're getting a lot of guys on base. There's a lot of guys with some good approaches and good plans today. See if that leads baseman. to a bunch of runs. Chris Bryant. Now at the plate, Chris Bryant, one of the better hitters in the game this year, currently seventh in the National League batting race. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Pitch on the way. Hard hit ball to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery is too late as he's able to beat the throw to first. Man, Back errors are never welcome. The first but to make one with two outs in the first is especially painful. Rizzo. Now your pitcher has to make extra throws, and that could make the difference in how long he lasts in this game. Anthony Rizzo stands in now, having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. But there to take it in is a well-positioned Lowry, and the inning is over. Down go the Cubs on just four pitches, and this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Head-to-head -head numbers with you, Darvish. He's got three base hits in 19 tries. He also has one home run. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. One of the toughest things to do in baseball is to sweep a series. A three-game series is tough, but they have a chance with a win today to do something really special, and that would be a sweep of a four-game set at home. Cespedes behind a ball and two strikes. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. So here's how the Chicago Cubs are positioned defensively. The right and guys, the thing I want you to take a look at today Michael is in today's Conforto. game, the new age, everyone wants to move around. This manager does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. Hard hit to first. Rizzo is there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting fifth. 
Here's Todd the Frazier now. He'll 21. work on keeping this top Todd. of the second alive. Frazier. Swung on and missed. It's 0-1. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So striding forward now, Wilson Leading Contreras. Off, and Cubs. he enters play today, currently Defenders. fifth in the Wilson. National League batting race. Oh, this guy can right, right. do just about everything when he's in the lineup. In the top five in the league in runs no, scored, can't. and he's a big part of this offense. So there's more to this guy that than just it. swinging the bat. He the can right get on fielder. base, too. And Take now that. they'll hustle out there and attend to their hey, pitcher. Whoa. And that was quite a shot he took as you see him down on a knee. But if there's one thing I know about this guy, he will not want to come out of this game. And from all indications, it looks like he's going to try to continue. First pitch of the at bat. Liner toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Throw oh, won't get him. Okay. Danny, how frustrating is this right here? First and third, you Nine got problems seven. all over the Bill place. You come right out of the dugout, right? You're Elbow. starting an inning fresh. You're Elbow. expecting Four to have a one, two, three inning. You look up, and all of a sudden, first and third, nobody out. It's time to make some good pitches. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora Jr. He carries the eighth best batting he's average going, in the going. National League entering play. Eight. Strike taken, the throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. Has a look, now the pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Ligares is under it. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1 0 lead. Batting eight, the second baseman, Addison Russell. Here comes the first pitch. Holds this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Batting nine. Stepping no into the box, Hugh you Darvish. And a chance now Darvish. to increase his lead if he can go, deliver go, something go. here with two gone. Hit on the ground out to short. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Now Stepping back. in and ready Left for fielder. another shot, Kyle, Kyle Schwarber trying to keep things going Schwarber. now with a runner at first following the RBI single. These Mets fellas as they take the field here today, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Matt. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two the aboard now. Nine. Shortstop. He looked a little bit Bobby out in Gale. front right there, but he's able to pull Bobby that Gale. ground ball through the hole for a single. Here's Javier Baez. Line drive to center field. Lagares will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. So it's two. Here's Echeverria now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off leading the off third the after the first six the guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, Echeverria. it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. First pitch of the at bat the on its way. Fielder, number 12. Now a swing, and he just one. fouls this one away. Ligaro. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And it's one and two. The one two. Fouled away. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Fouled off. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Into the box now. Steven Matz. Two away in the, the inning. Pitcher. And Dan, it looks Steven. like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. 
Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. In fact, with the highest team batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball, it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense Leading in the sport these the days. Cup. As one player told the me earlier, baseman. yeah, I mean, you don't Red. have to dig too deep into the stats to understand Brian. the level we're playing at. We have a special group, we know it, and we still think we can get better. Safe to say no one else around the league hopes they can, guys. The first baseman. All right, thanks, Heidi. Anthony. So the base is empty here with Rizzo. one away. And into bat next, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Swing and a liner. And that's going to be a base hit for Rizzo. And the screen the shows the story Number right three. there. Has that hitting Real streak will live to see another day? He certainly has. He's seeing the ball so big, Maddie. You see the confidence oozing off him in the box. He hasn't fished at anything in the last month or so. So I don't expect this to go away anytime soon. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now about it. Two on right here with one man out. Jason. And that'll bring up the multi-gold glover, Jason Hayward. First pitch coming, here it is. This one's flared out toward left. Here comes Cespedes. He can't get to it. This one's down. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, the but the bases fielder. are loaded Albert with Ma. one away. Albert. At the plate, Albert Almora. Almora. He's been swinging a hot bat in the series with seven oh. base hits coming in. Heading out toward shallow right. Conforto waits on it. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Cubs strand a couple. They're up two to nothing. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. He starts off the inning Leading against the a guy man. who struck out the, the side last baseman. inning. How do they Robinson. get to him here? I'm not yeah. sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Inside and he one. misses there, one and two. A bouncer up the middle. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks the like right beast. there. That lawn dart felt yeah. so good. Wow, oh, Dero, this guy's been due. He really I... needed that one. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Oh, and two, the count to Jed Lowry. No Man, when you're struggling at the plate, that pitcher smells blood in the water. He's coming right after you, trying to end it quick. Cano on at first, nobody out. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He's had great command of his pitches all day. I don't mind him trying to go down right there and try and get a swing and a miss, but a nice job by the hitter to lay off that one in the dirt. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Jed Lowry goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos, as Darvish will jump ahead of him here with strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Pretty late with the swing there. As a pitcher, you have to recognize that and keep coming in with the hard stuff until he proves he can hit it. So he racks up the swinging up strikeout the on the breaking ball. Wilson Ramos field. goes yeah. down for Going out in. number two oh, in the it. top half. 0-1 the count. Aye. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. There seem to be different philosophies. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. In now, Addison Here Russell. He Four flew out in his last at bat. The second baseman. Here comes the first Addison. pitch. Russell. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. The 
windup and the 0-1. Back up the middle. Hechevarria has it. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. The pitcher, Opportunity 11. now to look at some of the future you. plans for this Mets organization Sherman. as our Road to the Show report spotlights a couple of guys that have been playing very well in recent action. Swing and a liner, but foul. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Grounded to the right. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the now play. Batting. Left fielder, Kyle. So it's back to the top of the Schwarber. order now. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. High in the air out to center field. There to pull it in, Ligaris. And there are two away now. So the runner stays at first here with two away, and that brings us to our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And we've got two guys bringing some serious gas for you, as you see there. Top speeds, 96 and 97. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Right through it here, and he's behind 0-1. Hey, boys, you talk about getting your A swing off. That's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. In the air now, out to right field. Conforto on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Cubs, but they hold a two. Welcome back to the north side of Chicago, back here at Wrigley Field as we check in with Heidi. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Mickey Calloway, the Mets skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed the one bat. base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why 30. he said they haven't shown much Michael. fight today. Just He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, oh, so cool. it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Good stuff, yeah. Heidi. Thanks. Conforto behind the ball and two strikes. Hey, as an offense, you do your homework, you scout. Nope. He hasn't been Outside. using that pitch an awful lot. I say you just throw that out. If he's going to flip that occasionally for a strike, then so be it. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. A look at our line score here the through the first season, four. 21. And as we've mentioned, just uh, one hit for these guys this Ranger. afternoon. Coming to the plate now, Todd Frazier. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he fouls this one off. Oh one. 1 here's the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Boy, and they cannot touch him right now. Five straight strikeouts on the ledger, and there are two away. Now batting. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, the slick fielding shortstop, Adani Hechevarria. No balls and a strike to count. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. They trail it here, two to nothing. Here's Chris Bryant now as we move the past cup. the halfway point in this the one and begin baseman. the bottom of the fifth. Red. This guy has been unbelievable. Oh, yeah. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Zero. Looks like he swung it underwater that Down. time for okay. strike two. Hit on the ground out to short. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. Dan, count goes out the window with this batter right here. It doesn't that matter if it's 0-2-2-0. Two, two, oh, he's locked. He has great bat-to-ball skills. There are some guys that just have a knack, d of being able to get the barrel to the ball, and this is one of those guys. 
So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Anthony Rizzo. He singled his last time up. Yeah, Matty, pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. That Boy, that's here. about as 40. easy as it comes. Wilson. A chopper, two hopper, turns Got into a tailor-made 4-6-3 double play. First offering on its way. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left field. Into the bleachers and gone. I know height sight's 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget, he homered yesterday. So you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Swing and a liner. But there to take it in is a well-positioned Lowry, and the inning is over. Here's Juan Ligares. He'll start things out in their half of the Leading sixth the as they look to shake things up here for a lineup well. that, quite frankly, Juan. has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched at this point. You want to get through please. five innings. I mean, Pinch what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? Bradley. We'll see if that continues Darn, no. as we approach the later inning. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover batter, in time. And Second as I baseman, thought might be the case based Robinson, on how close that play was, they're requesting a chance to review the replay and decide whether or not to challenge the safe call. Here's another look at it now. I couldn't really tell when I saw it at full speed. And I'll tell you what, it's still not clear to me from that replay. We'll see if they decide to challenge it after they look at it from a few more angles. Cano waiting on the 0-1. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. Aye. And he takes a cold strike, too. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Still down three, nothing. Your Robert Gesellman please. enters to do the pitching, pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Door. Number 65, Robert. Ready Gisellman. once again, Albert Almora. Lifetime matchup numbers with Gaselman. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Grounded weekly down the, the line toward fielder. third. Gaselman, a California-born ball player. He was a 13th round pick back in 2011. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact the at the Cubs. big league level. Well, he hit that baseman. ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off Russell. it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Here's Addison Russell. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lagares is camped under this one, and he's got it for out number two. The pitcher, number 11. Coming to the plate two. now, Hugh Darvish. Two Darvish. hits and two trips for him thus far. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cespedes is there, and that ends the inning. Next for the Mets, Jed Lowry. He, he went down on strikes Mets. last time up. Third base yeah, Matty, big four. time K last Jed. time up, and it's been a tough Lowry. series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Stepping into the, the box, catcher, Wilson four. Ramos. Hey. It's been Wilson. an 0 for 2 effort Ramos. for him to this point. No balls in one strike. Hit down the line at first, but that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Here's Darvish on 0-2. Back up the middle. There's Baez. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. The left fielder, number 52, Ioannis Cespedes. Here's Juana Cespedes. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. On its way is pitch number 75. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Whoa, hey, it's right really there. hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage. How about 100%? Can't get any better than that. 
And he struck him out. 16 for the ball game, and the Ladies inning and is over. Down in order go the Mets. They trail it here, three to nothing. Digging in, Kyle Schwarber. Lifetime Leading matchup numbers with Gaselman. He's one the for two. Fielder, Kyle. Infield Schwarber. shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw on to first by Cano, and there's the first out of the inning. Digging in, Javier Baez, fourth Short trip to the plate for Bobby him, in. and he's at risk of ending that nice Baez. hitting streak that he's put together. Yeah, chances are it's on his mind, Matt, but you just have to let that get out of the way as best you can. You have to approach this at bat just like any other. Otherwise, you're just getting in your own way. Now batting. The so baseman. digging in now, Chris, Chris Bryant. He's got a hit in three oh, at-bats yeah. to this point. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Hey, guys, this he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second the knock baseman, of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys Anthony. on the other side of the scorecard might be Rizzo. thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Now at the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but anytime you could extend an inning and give a guy... With and the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one, but they lead it 3-0. At the plate, Michael Conforto. We're in the eighth now, and the nothing's changed out the right there on the mound. Well, I've Michael been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Todd. First pitch of the at bat Please. on its way. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1 0. The Cubbies are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale, so if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball, you're going for the sweep, and you're leading by a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. Looking to send him packing again. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. And even sweeter, of course, is getting that series sweep in your own ballpark in front of the home faithful. So we'll see if they can send these fans home happy. No doubt about it. Fan base is excited. They are all out in full force, coming to the ballpark, hoping to witness a sweep, and it looks pretty good at this point. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball the game batter. as he keeps racking them up. Job. One gone here That's in the eighth as we check our That's line score to this point. And boy, you can see the story of the game right there in the hit column. Just one hit allowed through seven and a third. He has been awfully tough to solve. Adani Echevarria is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him. Now we're going to have a Your conference at the please. home plate area, so it These would appear that... For the Mets. Now pitching and batting in the sixth spot. Number 51, Paul Sewell. Ready to deliver. Now Here's the first, first pitch. And batting nine. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Lagares is in his Smith. tracks now, and very quickly one gone. Now batting, right fielder. Jason. Hayward. First offering on its way. Into center field, line drive base hit. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four fielder. every day Number of the week. Five. Yeah, in today's day and age, Albert. Dan, where everything's Albert. a home or a walk or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Now a throw over to first, and late back. reactions, and they got him. Decisions like that have to be made knowing who you've got at the plate. 
This guy can put one over the fence, no problem. So that wasn't very smart baseball. Standing in now, Albert Almora. Strike one to start the at bat. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. You know, hats off to the pitcher right there. You got a great hitter at the plate. It's early in the count, and he wanted to get ahead. Nice challenge pitch right there. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there, or probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never, and I'm sure when he walked. And the second baseman is there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Left for the Cubs. They lead it three. Leading off for the Mets. The center field. Craig Kimbrell comes on. on from the pen, hoping to Look finish on. this one off Ladies here in the top of the ninth. Now here's please. a swing and a high pop-up, drifting into Chicago shallow Brown. right field. Russell number is there, one quick Ray. out to start inning number nine. Kimbrell. The Cubs are into their bullpen now, as there are the final numbers for their starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. Behind 0-2 now. Now the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. Batter, that was a three-pitch strikeout. Base. And with the kind of stuff Robert that he Green. has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Here's Robbie Cano now. But he will make the catch on the hard-hit ball out there, and that will conclude matters here as this ball game is over.